Hey, so I'm back, and before the video start, it's greatly appreciated when you interact. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, y'all. So this video about two girls, two rappers that I've never seen beef before, Asian doll and Amaretta, and then Rico Nasty. She got dragged into it. She ain't even do nothing. <laughs> So to start from the beginning, it's this girl on TikTok and she like real popular for the way she dressed and it's called Aaliyah Core. I think, even though I think that's, I think her name is Aaliyah, but they call the style now Aaliyah Core, right? Because I guess she do with the best on TikTok. Now her style is very much alternative uh, punk rock type of style, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look it up on TikTok, it's, she's everywhere. All you gotta type in is Aaliyah Core. Everything you need to know gonna pop up. Now, I guess people would say it. Aaliyah started the Aaliyah core stuff and the punk rock stuff like that. And Asian Doll said, seeing them credit her, saying she the real one that started it is crazy. She didn't dress like me and Rico, literally, but I was on that before. He said, diamonds on the face, I started that. Crazy eye makeup, I started that. Skirts and platforms was my signature look. Literally, stop saying she started that. Um, I was the first black female in Dolls by Dolls Kill. Um, I started the Dolls Kill way for black girls, and that is facts. All right, so Asian Doll, she said she started rapping in 2014. So, first of all, that's like 10 years rapping. That is crazy. But um, I was 14 in 2014. I guarantee you I did not know who she was back then. I really ain't really know Asian Doll for real, for real, until after King Von died. Back then, I feel like what we was listening to was mainstream, and then the underground people here. But, like, that's it. And then fast forward... Well, like 2016, 2017 or something, Rico Nasty, she was underground here and she like blew up with the song I Carly. Yeah, that's that. I knew Rico Nasty before Asian Doll, but Asian Doll been rapping before like, three years before Rico Nasty and that was her style. Yes, Asian Doll had the style first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, someone told Asian Doll to put a name on it. Asian Doll said Aaliyah did not start nothing. She has my whole swag, literally. Is she trying to say she started that type of look in the black community? Because she didn't start that look, period. That's just false but is she saying she started that look in the black community like black female rappers is that what she's saying this is literally what we talked about yesterday people was mad that lotto had the pleated skirt on said she stole ice spice look scott jackson said she was a trendsetter and felt like stormy reed stole her hairstyle oh this is so high school to me we are grown girl oh my god let's get on with these tweets we got a lot to read because these girls did not stop typing i i wish these people just start going live bro um Asian doll, she said, been inspiring girls with no identity. Influenced by somebody, influenced by Asian doll, that's all. Amaretta enters the chat. And mind you, Amaretta and Asian doll, they're cool. She said, I don't know, man. This whole talk with female rappers about stealing aesthetic just made me want to give Rico Nasty her flowers. She's not going to say anything because it's not an aesthetic for her. It's her actual lifestyle. It's not just an era for her. It's who she is. She inspired my fashion that I have today. Nobody gave Rika her flowers, but for sure, a lot of people get inspo from her. That girl, for real. True alternative black girls really had to go through a lot because people look down on it. Now it's a mainstream look and everybody want to claim it. Give the credit to the girls that did, that do this stuff for real, not just for a look. What I will say, if Asian Doll is the you know first black female rapper to dress like this, what I will say is people definitely stole Rico Nasty sound. Whether you like her or not, or whether you listen to her music or not, they really did steal her sound and ran with the shit. Rada also said, Rico Nasty is the head of all things alternative when it comes to female rap. Okay. A question. I have a question. For one, who do y'all think did the look better? That's one. Not to put them up against each other or nothing like that, but who do y'all think did the look better? Because this is reminding me of um, Katie got bands and Asian doll and they hold queen of drill thing. Cause remember when, um, Katie got bands, we all know she was like the first female drill rapper, stuff like that. Asian doll started calling herself queen of drill. And she felt like even though she didn't start it, she the best at it. And she took it and ran. Do you think even though Rico Nasty didn't start this style, she did the best at it? See what I'm saying? Asian doll, she did not like what Amaretta said. So she said, and the metal, you dress like my old swag. You just don't want to admit it, girl. That Rico wasn't wearing diamonds and stuff on her face. I started that stuff and stopped. Y'all ran with it, be for real. Amaretta said, I'm not finna argue with y'all. She also responded to Asian doll. She said, uh, girl, you have been wanting to say this for so long. I have never in my life used one of your pics for inspo when you dressed uh, like that back in 2016 and 18. I was wearing hood fits. I started dressing like a rock star in 2022. What do you think uh, I went to pull up some throwback pics of you for inspo? I'm already saying I'm not arguing with nobody in these comments. I never said she started nothing. I'm not taking nothing from Asian Doll. I'm giving my girl her flowers, Rico Nasty, for present. Asian Doll responded saying, if I wanted to say something, I would have said it like I did just now. You just guilty and was waiting on me to say something, but Asian is no hater. 
you was just doing a lot of dick eating for no reason on IG, posted another woman that's mute. And deleted what I said under your post. So I said something here. And you never have to use my pics for inspo. You're a follower of a follower. You have no identity. And you loud and wrong. Like always, I was for sure in the hood dressing like a rock star boo back in 2014. You were somewhere in a Nike fit. Moretta responded saying, Asian, I promise I do not care. Asian doll said, and I never gave a F about none of that stuff. Uh, Amaretta said, you care real bad. Asian doll said, nah, I just thought I should put a name on it. That's it. Amaretta said, you could actually call me. You got my number. I posted a picture of Asian doll and Amaretta in the studio. And they was like, stop acting like you wasn't hanging with her. Y'all were friends. You just met Rico. You're weird. Asian doll said, gave her a feature before her leader. Yikes. And the real tea is I ate that little baby up. All right, so now that we talk about studios and features and stuff, who rock better? Me personally, <laughs> in my opinion, I'm a rather with eat Asian though the fuck up. Let's stop. Don't even lie. Don't lie. Now, y'all know, like I know, from their first songs to now, I'm a rather is the better rapper. Right? Why? Now, what I will say, Asian Doll is more popular. She is. She really is. Now, I'm pretty sure Asian Doll get booked more. I'm pretty sure Asian Doll get talked about more. Um, she just signed a multi-million dollar deal. I don't know if I'm already want to be signed, so I'll say that as well. I don't know if she wants to be. Anyway, Asian all said, you on social media with it, so that's where you got addressed. This all because you being a weirdo and always talking and being shady to people, um, that's all you do. I did a song with you, supported you, all that. I could never be a hater over a style. Don't make it like I'm the problem. You put yourself in this. Nobody even thought of you when this who started this conversation came up. Just like last year, you tried to start something knowing we cool all because someone said you dressed like Asian doll. You replied to them, no the fuck I don't. I said, LOL, and you DM'd me. This girl, bye. You messy as fuck. We could do whatever, honestly. Asian doll, talk your shit because we ready. We are ready. And Asian doll leaked their messages from the situation she was just talking about. I'm already said, bro, you really finna sit here and let your fans stir up some beef uh, when facts I never copied nothing you did. Those messages, Asian Doll responded. She said, what the F, who beefing? You said, no the fuck, I'm not. I said, LOL. Who beefing? When we start beefing, stuff like this don't even scream beef. My fans ain't uh, stir up a random nigga mentioned you. And if we cool, you would have never even responded. And that matter because I always respond and say real stuff about you even when you not looking. And she said, word, misunderstanding. Asian Doll retweeted one of her videos where the lyrics said, Nikki did and I did. This is what I'm talking about. Like back then, I couldn't have told you who the hell that girl was because I, I would have not known. So the tweet with Amaretta said, not finna argue with y'all. Asian Doll responded and she said, you can't, you got cleared, bye. Uh, Amaretta said, girl, you childish. Asian Doll said, you messy and weird. Amaretta said, not the queen of messy calling somebody messy. The jokes write themselves. Amaretta retweeted a tweet that said, I'm a writer and Asian dog. Can y'all stop arguing? Asian, nobody is inspired by your aunt inspired built. And I'm a writer, keep doing your thing, Buki. Okay, here goes the body shaming. All right, so the inspiration whole situation was not about bodies. It was about outfits. Duh. Anyway, Asian dog said, Queen, yes, messy, that shoe fits you. I don't have to say a single person name or this and still get recognition. Can't say the same for you, weirdo. Now, not to like assume, but she, I think she's talking about I'm a writer with that whole, uh, freestyle or whatever and she name dropped like five six rappers being messy y'all seen that and did it blow up i don't know if it blew up did it do know it had a lot of people talking it did so it probably did blow up and it was mixed uh reaction some people was for it some people was not for it whatsoever i'm already said i just called you you didn't answer stop writing me bro someone said call her to the booth this songs this i don't know because i don't think well i don't be listening to asian doll music but I feel like if it happened, it would be on the blogs. The Asian, Asian doll don't be dissing people back for real. I, I think the last person Asian doll had beef with was Ivorian doll. Ivorian doll dissed her in the song. I don't think Asian doll responded because Ivorian doll diss was on the blogs. I don't remember seeing Asian doll back on the blogs responding. So I don't know if she's going to do a diss song. Asian doll responded to that though. She said, you trying to link or something? Uh, Cause it ain't nothing to talk on the phone about for real. Uh, I've been addressing you in private and you still get online doing weird stuff. So what's up? So you ready to fight? Who y'all think of winning the fight? Asian doll or Amaretta? Ooh, ain't they like the same size? That, that'd that be a fair fight. Amaretta said, call me back. Call me back. Okay, that was the last of the tweets. I don't know what was said over the phone. Um, Asian doll, all her tweets are deleted. Uh, Amaretta, her tweets is still up. I, You know, to me, I, even like I just said, I don't see Asian doll doing a diss song. But I do see Amaretta doing a diss song. Like, she just name dropped five rappers that had nothing to do with her. 
You think she not gonna take advantage of this? I think she is. If you, if, it's smart if you do. But if y'all gonna link, even though I think y'all are two different states, but if y'all do link, get the right cameraman to record. We don't want no, we want to see the real thing that happened. We don't need no messed up cameraman, okay? Or squash it, cause y'all was actual friends. Come on, come on. Now, we don't gotta be messy all the time. Y'all was friends. I don't know how close y'all was, but okay, that's it. Now, if you found this video interesting, and I hope you did. Um, or learned something, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.